Welcome back to another video, ladies and gents. We are doing one of the mods that I think the Subaru WRX STI should come with from factory, and that is the cylinder four cooling mod. Besides the uh, air oil separator, that one should also come from factory. And you know what? I had this mod before my engine blew up. And if I did this mod earlier, probably wouldn't have had that problem. Even though, unfortunately, I had this already in hand. If I did this ahead of time, my cylinder four probably would have been all right. So from my understanding, it's not too difficult to install. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You know, there's just a hose, a stainless steel T, some hose clamps. Um, honestly, you're probably just gonna need, you know, a, a decent set of uh, uh, hose cutters, maybe some pliers or something, you know. Um, I already went ahead and removed this plug right here. This plug is just on the back of the block. I'll show you real quick. I can get a decent angle. It's right there. That hole right there. That is the spot we're gonna be threading the uh, hose into. You're also gonna need some type of sealant. I have this Loctite stuff, uh, 567 thread sealant. Apparently it's meant for like hydraulic hoses, so I'm sure this will do the trick. We're only, we're only gonna use a dab, so not that much. So it's not like you're gonna cake the thing. Uh, and honestly, it's just for that little bit of thread right there, if you can see it. Um, besides that, it should be a pretty straightforward mod. I don't think it'll be too difficult. Now it is probably gonna be a bit easier for me since obviously my engine's all apart, but since it's open, it might give you guys a better understanding of what's going on. As you can see, I already have my hoses, my coolant hoses out of the way. Again, I had to pull up my engine, so never bother connecting them again. I'm gonna double check before I cut anything, but it should be something like that. But we're gonna have to cut into the lower hose, I'm pretty sure, and tap into there. So I'm gonna double check real quick. Oh yeah, my phone stand broke, so I gotta shove a flathead in there to keep it up so it doesn't fall. <laughs> Another thing is you're gonna need a one inch spanner uh, to screw this on, I'm probably gonna use an adjustable because it's a tight space in there. Or if you have one of those little stubby ones, that will work as well. But let's get this thing started. And there you guys go. That is the finished product. Uh, overall, it's really not too bad of an install, I'll admit. One tip I would recommend, when you put on the fitting to your block, take the hose off. I tried doing this, but unfortunately my socket was not deep enough. But if you grab a one inch socket, that's like deeper. Like if I had another, you know, quarter inch, half inch, I would have had enough of a depth to fit over the uh, hose fitting. So afterwards I hooked up the hose because I wanted to see naturally where the hose was kind of going to kink. I saw right here there was a straight part so I decided to cut it, put in the T-fitting, uh, kind of got it oriented how I wanted but I didn't tighten everything down because I wanted to see kind of the flow of everything. Uh, and then this hose right here I found it was a little too long, I cut off about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Uh, I'll show you how much I cut off right after. And then I just lined everything up and tightened it all down. I also made sure that I have a finger, I have a finger gap between here and the steering column right here where the joint is. So that's all good, I'm good here. Lots of room, I'm not worried about it. Later on, maybe I'll just kind of give it a look, uh, make sure everything's all right, and I could even just give it a little bit more of a twist. And yeah, we're good right there. There's more than enough room. I'm not really worried about it, to be honest. Um, then you would just hook up your last hose. To be honest, you can probably do this mod without removing this, but again, since my car is all in pieces, I had it disconnected. But yeah, you'd hook up that hose and then bleed your system. Coolant hose clamps are actually gonna be like your best friend when doing this, cause then you could just kind of block off the coolant and then not have coolant everywhere. Obviously, you know, my car has no coolant in it right now. So I was able to do this mod a lot easier, but hopefully this kind of gives you guys a good visual as to what you're looking at when you're doing this mod. 
Honestly, it's not a difficult mod to do, and this could save you a piston in the long run, so I recommend it. Do the mod. So before I forget, that's about as much hose as I cut off. It's about an inch and a half, give or take. You know, whatever suits you guys best, I, you know, that's good enough for me. I'm happy with that. I uh, hooked up the other line as well. Everything is back to how it should be. Uh, I also need to hook up my uh, starter lines right here, but I'm probably going to get rid of this bracket. Don't really need it. I might get rid of this as well. So might be getting rid of that. We'll see. Also include this link down below for you guys if you need a better idea as to what to do with the install. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So here's another angle of the cylinder four mod. You can see we did the uh, secondary air pump delete uh, plate right there. That's your cylinder four mod where it threads in and comes up. A little difficult to film, but hopefully you guys can see that pretty well, I hope. <laughs> we'll, we'll see when I edit it. You want to make sure that sealant is fully cured. You don't want to have to later on worry about, you know, issues in the future with coolant leaking. So my current going nowhere, so I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna leave it for a while. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. But on that note, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Take it easy.